as for the email that Mr. Breedlove sent, I guess I can go ahead and read that now. Anyway, moving on. I start the email off by saying, Hi, my name is Andre. I said, I have a question regarding brain plasticity. And so it says, if your statement is true that sexuality causes changes in the brain rather than the brain causing changes in sexuality, can it be true that since animals tend to mount anything when they smell a female in heat, such as dogs and cats, is it possible that a ram could smell a female sh a sheep in heat, mount another ram out of confusion of instinct and no access to a female? and have the I-N-A-H in the ram's brain, we now know that to be P-O-A, not I-N-A-H, um, continuing, in the ram's brain, change or change or over time change. Likewise, the same for a human who is practicing homosexuality and begin to get addicted to it, have the I-N-A-H, we now know that to be I-N-A-H-3, change over time. I ask this because it seems there are those that thought they were homosexual but change out of it, and those that thought they were heterosexual and change out of it. If it is such a hardwired genetic experience, which is claimed by many, without hard evidence thereof, why then do we have these changes which seem to correlate to your quote? I say thanks for taking the time to read this. Andre Berry. Then very arrogantly, he says, I'm not interested in discussing science with anyone holding religious views that homosexuality is wrong. My experience is that people trying to hold on to religious views can twist any scientific finding to support them. My favorites are the anti-evolutionists who think God planted phony fossils around the world to test our faith. The, okay, notice how he switched. He did not stay on topic. He is just like hype libertarian. He is one of the, like, like a lot of the atheists that I debate, or dog, darn near all of them, they cannot stay on topic. And this is a man who has an extreme amount of credentials and is, is following the same path. He cannot stay on topic. Nobody said anything about evolution. We're talking about homosexuality. Okay, continuing on, it says, anyone committed enough to go that route is completely immune to data. My best advice would be that you make the acquaintance of some gay men and get to know them as humans. This, okay, stopping again, this directly correlates to an assertion that I have had, that I've never had a homosexual friend and that I do not treat homosexuals as humans. So this guy has already changed the subject and has made assertions that on, on certain things. So it, it's, somebody at this level is doing the same exact crap that any, all the other atheists that I'm debating. Continuing on, Surely you can be friends even if you have different sexual orientations, yes? After you've known them a while, you may then ask them if they feel they choose to be attracted to other men. I've never met a man who said he chose his sexual orientation, but perhaps you will find one. Cheers, Mark. Mind you, I never said anything about choice, nor did I say anything about... Um, environmental or uh, social uh, uh, um, influence okay so being heated that I was I tried I tried to be calm in my response I said I simply I'm simply trying to find out whether or not the possibility of INAH and sheep and RAM I said rap but it I meant RAM changes after um, said events as explained I was not interested in twisting any facts whatsoever, just getting facts from a trusted, credible scientist. But it's nice to know as a Christian, we are not deserving information or conversation because our personal views, albeit the scientists who led the, scientist who led the Human Genome Project, is just that, a Christian. You lean to the left heavy and believe there's evidence for genetic cause. I lean to the right and believe there's no genetic cause, via your quote and the actual study of the rams and sheep. There's also LaVey's skewed study, reviewed and debunked by William Bine, and the XQ29, or XQ28 gene reviewed by Anne Fossil Sterling and Evan Balaban, and the failure to reproduce the results on a much larger scale in Canada. <laughs> With George Rice. 
and the University of Chicago's failure to do so as well. I would assume all the homosexuals would have uh, possessed this gene if it is a homosexual gene, which leads me to believe it could be a contributor somehow, maybe causing differences in hormonal levels. I'm simply trying to establish the data to find the truth regardless of belief. But one last thing, I've already had homosexuals, I've already had homosexuals as friends and do not hate homosexuals simply because I disagree with what they do. It's a terrible thing to jump to the conclusion I, we, don't treat them as humans. I or we don't treat them as humans. Also a terrible thing to say funerals fix bigotry when within itself that's bigotry because it involves intolerance. It's nice to know if I was in your class, I would probably be treated as such. And then I said, thank you, Andre. So, he then responds, your intern, your intemperate reply illustrates why I'm not interested in discussing science with people justifying their religion. Okay, in no way in my response did I justify my religion. I was trying to explain something about homosexuality. So continuing, for example, I never said you hated anyone, but here you are shouting at me as if I had. I suppose it was a mistake to even acknowledge your email at all. And then he says, best of luck in your endeavors, Mark. Now, nowhere in my email did I shout, but I did write hate in caps. So, I responded one last response. I said, I said I did not use caps for the word, uh, for that word to shout. I was just trying to make that word stand out. I apologize if you took it that way. And then I said, but you saying to, for me to become friends with a homosexual assumes I've never had one as a friend. It's still nice to know I can't get the same respect as an atheist simply for my beliefs. Thanks again, Andre. So, that was the end of his responses. You see how arrogant and evil and very rude this man was. This leads me to believe that he's an atheist. And it's a shame that I have to assume that because most atheists are this way. Not all of them are. I clarify that in all my videos, or most of my videos, all of the newer ones, that all atheists are not like this. I have some pretty cool atheists, especially uh, a couple on my friends list even. So they may comment whenever they want because I know they're not going to leave a bunch of filth all over my page. So anyway, that's it for the email that Mr. Breedlove sent. If you want to see what the other scientist and I talked about, that conversation, I'll post it in the sidebar. Um, because there are some things that he also said, some other possibilities that I didn't list in the video because the video was getting too long and I had to clip uh, um, a lot of the conversation out. So you'll be able to see that in full too in the sidebar. You just have to read it. Uh, that's pretty much it. So that's that will conclu conclude this video.